know, Joe, I'm almost speechless. That's just uh, some of the best artwork I've ever seen. It almost makes me not want to put my, my Glock in it, but we will take one for the team because I'm anxious to see what it looks like. That is awesome, Joe. I'm basically speechless. I may have to do another video with better lighting, but trust me, this is beautiful leather work. Now, you know, it's funny because Joe is what I consider a true artisan. I mean, I consider myself an artisan, but at a different level. Um, you know, I can do woodworking and build houses and do other things, you know, but, you know, I'm sort of a utilitarian artisan. Joe is an artisan that incorporates artwork, art into his craft. And that is the true form of an artisan. And one thing I have discovered is that, and one thing that I have always thought is that, you know, there's a big difference between an artisan and an artist. Um, you know, if you, if you really think about it, artisans created, basically help create our current economy and, and the system that has made our country so great. Uh, free, free market capitalism. Um, and this was the, you know, the original form of, of their economy was making goods and certain, you know, products by hand and trading or bartering. And, uh, and the, the more talented artisans would incorporate art into their um, work where you might have some artisans that just made basic like I did I made a basic holster out of leather and it was functional and then you have artisans like Joe in Texas who incorporate art into their craft and so you had different levels of uh, the craft so, the old Glock 19 has a new home, and uh, and I'm really happy. Thanks a lot, Joe.